right, so today's tricks and tips video we're going to look at is basically if you have a wall situation like we have here, okay, well, I'm first going to go through and I'm going to select my level lines and I'm going to go ahead and hide that whole group, our whole category in view because I want to be able to see my floor system and all that. So basically as you can see here, when you go through the join geometry process by clicking on the floor and the wall, you get a drop down here in the sense that you see your stud area and your jet board drops down on top of your floor system or your the true floor structure, okay, not our finished material as we have up here, but the actual floor structure. But what that does though is it leaves our finished material in this particular case it's a stucco uh, coat system, it leaves our stucco above that, okay? Well, in order to go ahead and bring that down, then what we need to do is we need to modify this wall. So we're going to select the wall and we're going to go into the type properties of this wall. Once you have the type properties in here, we're going to go into the structure and we're going to go ahead and set up a preview and in this case we're going to look at it as a section preview okay and what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in to this lower level here to this bottom piece section of my wall now we have our three coat system we have our wood sheathing we have our stud layer so as I go through these you'll see they're going to turn blue for the respected layer we have our stud and then we finally have our jip board but we're going to focus on these first two the finished material the three coat stucco and then the wood sheathing okay so what we're going to do is we're going to select this modify command here what that modify command is going to do is it's going to allow us to come in here and you'll notice if I zoom in you'll notice that it will allow me to select the edges of these walls, okay, of these layers of the, the finished material and such. So if I click on this, you're going to notice I have this padlock thing. If I unlock it, then we're going to do the same thing for our sheathing. We're going to unlock it, okay. Now, we're not going to do anything else to that wall. We're not going to unlock the stud. We're not going to unlock the jip or anything like that. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to say okay. We're going to say okay again. Now what happens when I select this wall, I get an arrow here that allows me to drag this, but I also get an arrow here. So now, as you can see, as I'm dragging this down, I can bring this all the way down to my CMU wall, and what I'm left with, and if I turn it to hidden lines so you can see, what I'm left with now is I am left with a wall that actually is adjustable in its depths and lengths. So you can use this to finish off, let's say, over the rim board on wood framing, or in this particular case, over the concrete slab for we have for our first floor system. Okay, and that is how you can adjust that. So what we'll do, I'll come back over to this side and we'll go ahead and we'll look at the same process. So the first thing we're going to do is, because we don't have our floor and our wall joined, we're going to go through that same process again. So we're going to go ahead and click on Join Geometry. We're going to select the wall, then we're going to select the floor. Now all I have to do is simply select that wall, and because I did this as a type property change in its, in its construction and in its structure, every time I select this wall, I'm always going to have the option to select two different kinds of drag arrows, for one for my finish and one for my stud and my jip board. Okay? So now I can drag that down, we'll go ahead and we'll add some color to it, and now you can see here we have our stud layer sitting on top of our concrete, we have our jip board in here, our tile finish, our VCT tile, and then we have our sheathing and our uh, three coat stucco. And that is how you can use the wall properties to create and finish the edges of your walls.